this video is about the division of complex numbers in Cartesian form. The example that we are going to see is 4 minus j8 over minus 9 plus j6. The division of complex numbers is normally a bit lengthy but there are few steps which has to be followed. First find out the conjugate of the complex number which is in the denominator. The conjugate of the complex number can be found out by inverting the the sign of the imaginary part. Therefore, the conjugate of minus 9 plus j6 is equal to minus 9 minus j6. Now, and then you multiply and divide the, co the fraction by the conjugate of the denominator. Therefore, you have 4 minus j8 over minus 9 plus j6 times minus 9 minus j6 over minus 9 minus j6. So according to the normal rule of fractions, multiply the numerator and numerator together and then you multiply the denominator and denominator together. So let's start with the denominator and denominator. So it is minus 9 plus j6 times minus 9 minus j6. So applying the normal FOIL method we have multiplying the first together, multiplying the outsides together, multiplying the insides and then multiplying the last. So expanding the brackets we have minus 9 which are the first and then the outsides which is j6 times minus j6 plus the insides is j6 times minus 9 plus the outside is minus 9 times minus j6. So simplifying the equation we have minus 9 times minus 9 is plus 81 plus times minus is minus j times j is j square 6 times 6 is 36. J6 times minus 9 becomes minus J54 plus minus 9 times minus J6 becomes J54 plus J54. Now we already know that J squared is equal to minus 1. So substituting that value in this part we have 81 minus of minus 1 times 36 minus j54 plus times minus is minus j54 plus j54 so simplifying further all right simplifying this equation we have 81 minus times minus is plus 1 times 36 is 36 minus j54 plus j54 becomes a 0 81 plus 36 becomes 117 so this is the answer when you multiply a complex number's conjugate by the complex number by itself. So normally when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, in this case it was minus 9 plus j6 times minus 9 minus j6. Instead of going for the long multiplication method, you can just take these numbers that is minus 9 the whole squared plus 6 squared now minus 9 the whole squared is 81 plus 6 squared is 36 so you get 117 so you could have up we can adopt this method instead of going for the long multiplication method because it still gives the same answer now the next step is to multiply the complex number in the numerator which is 4 minus j8 by the conjugate of the complex number in the denominator which was minus 9 minus j6. So applying the FOIL method again multiplying the first, multiplying the outsides, multiplying the insides and multiplying the last. So we have 4 times minus 9 plus the outsides are minus j8 times minus j6 and the insides are minus j8 times minus 9 plus the last are 4 times minus j6. 
Now simplifying the equation further, we have 4 times minus 9 is minus 36 plus minus j8 times minus j6 becomes j squared 48 minus j8 times minus 9 becomes plus j72 plus 4 times minus j6 becomes minus j24 minus 36 plus j squared is equal to minus 1 so substituting that value in this place we have minus 1 times 48 plus j72 plus times minus is minus j24 minus 36 plus times minus is minus 48 plus j72 minus j24 is equal to j48 because we are grouping the real and imaginary parts together the next is minus 36 minus 48 so the answer will be minus 84 plus j48 so this is the answer when you multiply the numerator of the complex number by the conjugate of the denominator complex number so we can see that this is the fraction which we wanted to divide and this was the conjugate of the denominator which we have multiplied and divided with the fraction so the product of the, both the numerators being multiplied together is minus 84 plus j48 and the product of the complex number by its conjugate is 117 so this can also be written as minus 84 over 117 plus j48 over 117.